What's up dudes, Chooch bringing y'all a B-Goat EXN follow-up. And this is going to be just kind of my review of this wheel. And I know it's sold out pretty much everywhere right now, which kind of shows that it is a solid wheel. The place you can get one similar to this, guys, and I'm going to give y'all a kind of a tip on this. If you want to get a high-performance electric unicycle right now that's in stock, the only one that you're going to get right now is the B-Goat EX. EX and that is in stock at Reverage right now if you use code chooch50 you can get that but if you notice on every website all the high performance unicycles are pretty much sold out right now and what's going on is there's a scarcity with the battery cells and with how many electronics out there are requiring these specific battery cells you know whether it be one of these portable chargers for taking camping whether it be an electric skateboard whether it be an electric lawnmower you name it all the different stuff that's coming on the market right now is requiring these cells guys and they are in extremely high demand and that's why you're noticing back order on every one of these sites for all these unicycles and stuff right now and like for the in motion v12 that has nothing to do with it that's just you know it, it, that's a new unicycle and that's just going to come out when it comes out but for other wheels like this one and other wheels like the sherman that just have so many cells in them they're having a hard time getting the battery cells and i know that's an insane problem to run into like i even talked to my grandpa he's a he's a heck of a businessman and i just was like dude he's like man he's like that's a, he's like that's crazy you need to tell those people to make some more batteries like that's like that's nuts and I, I mean, I think it's insane. I honestly think it's insane, guys. But if you want a high-performance electric unicycle right now, your best bet is to go with the Beagle EX from Rev Rides. It's thirty-five hundred bucks, but it's in stock, and you can get it shipped to your door pretty much. Otherwise, you're going to be waiting a few weeks, even a few months, guys. But you can put in pre-orders at both sites for them, you know. But anyways, I know you wanted a follow-up on this wheel after you saw me riding it through the snow and mud and everything else like that and just treating this thing i know a lot of you guys are just like dude he's just treating that thing awful but no i really wasn't i did that marine grease treatment i did the silicone treatment around the motor i'll have that video after this video in the little thumb tab or either at the top i'll figure out which way i want to do it but i'll have that video up so you can check it out of what the whole process i did but here's a little picture right here of the bearing and how much marine grease i put in there and it was substantial. You can see it was quite substantial. And the marine grease in there has not come out. Everything stayed fine. And this is it riding right here without ever being opened again from that day. And I've ridden it through water. I've ridden it through mud, snow, everything. It's been out to California. It's been raced, won the race after riding it through all that snow, water, everything else. And I've had no bearing problems. I've had absolutely no grinding noises no rusting problems nothing it is butter smooth and this thing rolls buddy and this has become my daily driver i am i take this pretty much every single day now and it's because i'm so fast from like my daily commute where i gotta get through really really tight corners for my specific daily commute now i have really really tight road corners i gotta get through and dude i'll leave <laughs> i'll leave my house man with like I'm not kidding you, like four minutes to get where I got to go. And I got to get, I'm talking, I got to get like at least two, three miles away. And every day I just get, I mean, I get on this thing in rocket ship, dude, like rocket ship. And I got to get in the door, get situated and everything else where I get to. But dude, this thing just is just like a torpedo, dude. It's like, <laughs> it is like just a time machine man just the way this thing is and i've gotten super comfortable with the acceleration of it and with the braking on it and every time i come into brake on this thing guys i can skid the tire and I, that's something i was not ever expecting to do on a unicycle but it is the most unique and fun thing to be able to do and i'm, I'm not doing it in these videos right here but after riding this thing you know daily driving it for like a week and a half after this is being filmed right here i have been on it every single day and it, with my wheels guys it just depends on the one i'm feeling you know like it might be one that i get out i get really used to the arrangement of those power pads i'm liking it a lot and i'll just ride that wheel and film content about that wheel for a long time and then i'll get on a a new wheel will get sent to me like the v12 or something i'll ride that for a bit 
and then another one will just catch my eye, you know, and I'll just get on that one. And so I, I like to keep the content fresh, but at the same time, it's not me just trying to keep the content fresh. It's literally, I just like to ride all these different wheels, man. I really do enjoy them for different things, changing different setups, different PSI. And I like working on them, guys. When I'm not riding, um, anybody that knows me, you know I'm working on these things all the time. I'm always tinkering with them and whatnot. And I used to not be that way. But, um, and it's not maintenance stuff, it's just me tinkering with it, you know, discovering, you know, how stuff works, you know, what I can do to make this better on it, you know. With that Sherman, man, I've put so many different modifications on that thing and done so much to it with this. Um, I got these Clark pedals on here. These Clark pedals are fabulous for this one right here. Um, I've got spiked pedals on pretty much every one of my unicycles now, guys, and I can tell you here, I'm going to tell you right now which unicycles I like, which pedals are. And I'm going to be doing a review very soon on the free motion pedals. And that video is coming up, but I put those pedals on my M Super Pro, and that thing looks super ghetto right now, just with the way the wheel, I have like the, the wheels on the front of that thing, and it's set up for trail riding, and I had like a whole entire bumper pad around that thing for just insane trail riding. And I didn't want to showcase those pedals on that unicycle the way it looks right now because it does not look good. But anyways, I got the free motion pedals on the M Super Pro and they fit perfectly. It, the way it's set up right now, it doesn't look incredible, but those pedals look good, guys. And they are sweet. So if you have an M Super Pro or any of the old Gotways, I'm not talking about the EXN or the Veteran Sherman. I haven't tried them on the Sherman yet. The, the EXN, they just had a little bit of play in them, but on the M Super Pro, those pedals fit absolutely perfect. So these were the prototype Clark pedals I was running on this unicycle at the time. Now I have the actual uh, production Clark pedals on, this, on my EXN, and they really look good on the EXN, guys. They look good on the Sherman, too, but it's just something about it. Just the way you can get the torque, the way they look, everything on it, man. If you got an EXN... Or, or Gotway RST or any of the, I mean, it's just something with the Gotways and the way these Clark pedals look on them. And even and even Chris, dude, like he has a bunch of Gotways. He even has that new B-Goad Monster, uh, Gotway B-Goad, same thing as the, the company, but uh, he has that new Monster Pro Man with all of his bumper pads and uh, it, the pedals and it just looks good, dude. It really does look good. But these were the prototypes right here, and the only, like one of the things that, that changed on it, I even, you know, I messaged him. I don't know if it was, um, I'm not going to say it was exactly my input that got the modification change. It may have been, but one thing I did say I wanted was the front to be angled down a little bit where it doesn't scrape. You see how the front of these pedals are kind of at a 90 degree angle? The new ones aren't like that. They're angled back so you can really get into your corners a lot better. And I would have been able to corner on that racetrack even tighter with these with the new Clark pedals. And All right, so these are the, these are the new Clark pedals right here, and you see the change. So the magnet actually has retention from screws, which holds it in place. The other one actually, the prototypes, you, it was glued in there, and it came off. So that was changed for the better, which is awesome. And then on the front right here, what I was talking about, see how that's angled up. So you can really get into your corners good. And man, dude, and like just the, the way you, th these grip, bro, oh my God. And it, that's on the EXN and they fit, they fit perfect with no washers. So this is something you gotta be careful with these right here because they might not fit every single unicycle out there actually. These actually don't fit the um, InMotion V12. So be careful with that. They don't fit the V12, but they do fit the EXN and like they fit the um, the old MSX. They fit the M Super Pro. They fit on this wheel right here. And it's just, I mean, they're quality. I know they're expensive, dude, and I would be hard pressed as hell to buy them myself. You know, if if he didn't get send them out to me to. Uh, check out, but they once you get them in your hands, dude, and you open up that box of the actual production uh, Clark pedals, dude. You, I mean, it what what it does is it kind of makes you wish the whole electric unicycle looked like that. 
because it's the nicest component on the unicycle and it's just like dang dude these look good like they really do the the production ones are just insane dude they look so quality and like just the the studs in the top like everything about them just the the finish on it it's like a matte finish on it it's like it was all sandblasted like to perfection there's an actual like little hinge adjustment where you can raise your pedals to flare them however much you want and the best thing I like about it in the winter time guys I know I've said this before is the fact you see how they're open though whenever you're walking around in the snow you get ice compacted on the bottom of your shoe and these you just step right on the pedal and it just melts off and you're good to go you don't have to worry about um, ice building up on your grip tape and that has been man I've been riding for six years and it has been six winters now of ice building up on my grip tape and so I literally have a thing on my key fob now that I use to scrape the ice off the grip tape with and you know now I have spiked pedals on pretty much every unicycle but still the ones that are spiked that don't have um, a way for water or mud to pass through are still just lacking so the, the, the Clark pedals and the free motion pedals are the absolute like top dog pedals dude um, I'll say for your if you're just riding in dry stuff and you're riding in just normal conditions and you know you're not riding in rain or mud the Merlin fish pedals I know I'm putting some crazy names out there but this guy named Merlin fish that started the whole spike pedal thing from Facebook and um, I, I have no idea how that you can contact this guy but you have to contact him on a like uh, user basis or whatever email basis for him to make them for you but he basically takes the, the metal plates that come on the standard pedals and just has it machined where he has screws individually through them. But the thing about those screws is they're, I mean, they're not spike screws, but just the way they're arranged in there just gives so much grip on your shoes, guys. It's just little thick, little stubby screws that are in those pedals, man, and it just gives you... I mean so much more confidence like right here where you're shaking up and down where you got a little bit of mud going on down there um, without that where it's just grip tape you know you can really start slipping and sliding guys and so that's just kind of you know what I got going on and you can see here man with um, just how I was riding this thing this was after I did all that bearing treatment and if I wouldn't have done that man I probably wouldn't have, would have been in the same boat as a lot of these guys getting these unicycles and don't be afraid to open these things up and learn about them guys the internals of it if you can work on an electric car or if you can take apart your remote controller you know you can open these up and look at them just be careful with putting it assembling the shell putting it all back together the only thing you need to do guys is just make sure you tape all your wires down and make sure that you know everything is going back together and you're not forcing anything and you'll be good and you can just take it apart and learn everything about it, waterproof it, whatever you need to do. They're really simple. It's sweet, dude. The thing rides good. Made it up here, man. It's a, it's a lot colder up here than I thought it would be. You know, like, it's actually like, it's like mud season up here, man. Everything's kind of melting. We had our last big snow. It's gonna be muddy up here, it's gonna be muddy. I'm glad I did the treatment of that bearing because if I didn't treat that bearing, it would've been a big problem. It did, it got, got it though. Rode good, rode good, man. Chicken pot pie looks delicious. Let's get it. Yeah, so none of this footage was actually recycled footage at all. This was just on the journey there and then the video you saw from a few months back was actually the video of me leaving here. And I just take so much footage, man. Some of the times I can't even put some of the best stuff in. I'll just put half the ride in and you don't even see the other half of it just because it's so long, you know, and I don't want it to look like the same thing. But if y'all want to see all the footage, man, I can start making some more videos of it because it's some cool stuff along, along the way of all these rides.